Celebrating the contribution of workers to the nation's economy and progress at the 2023 May Day event held at Bolgatanga in the Upper East Region, President Ikufuado pledged to protect public income and pensions. Calming the nerves of pensioners, he assured that government remains committed to turn things around and steer the economy out of great times. I want to reassure you that government will do whatever it takes to protect your incomes and pensions in these challenging times. When we met last year at the Black Star Square in Accra, I assured you of government's commitment to protecting the jobs and incomes of workers. We have been very mindful of its potential impact on the pension funds of workers. We will not act in any way to shortchange workers in protecting their pensions. It is for this reason the government through an MOU signed with organized labor on 22nd December 2022 decided to grant exemption to all pension funds in the domestic debt exchange program. In this regard, within global risk management practice, the option should include diversifying the portfolio of pension funds from the current 70% in government paper to real sector investments including rail, housing, urban transportation, motorways and airports as is done by other pension funds. I'm aware that both the Minister for Finance and the Minister for Employment and Social Relations and their technical teams have been working with organized labor and its associations and pension fund managers and trustees to explore these mutually beneficial options. I'd like to use this occasion to appeal to organized labor to work urgently with government to conclude the discussions within the spirit of social partnership and burden sharing towards addressing our economic challenges and providing a stronger base for our rapid growth and development.